Hi, this is Sandra Henry Stocker, author of the Unix as a Second Language blog on Network World. In this Linux tip, we're going to look at the factor command. It's not one that you're likely to use very often, but it can be very useful when you're doing math on the Linux command line. Just as the name implies, it provides the factors for any number you offer as an argument. And in case you haven't thought about factors in a while, they are the prime numbers that multiplied produce the number you started with. A prime number is a whole number greater than one that cannot be the result of multiplying other whole numbers. So now let's just take a look at that. Say I factor the number 123, I get 3 and 41. Those are both prime numbers and multiplied together they result in 123. Now let's try factoring a much larger number. So I'll just go that's a nice big number. And you can see this time I get four factors. Each one of those is prime, and if we multiply this times this times this times this, we will get that number right there. If you try to factor a number, on the other hand, which is prime, you get nothing but the number itself. So let's just factor one of these numbers here. So I'll choose 3803. And you can see the only response is 3803. So that shows us that that number is prime. Now, factoring has many applications in the real world. And being able to factor on the Linux command line can be very useful when you need it. Well, that's your Linux tip for the factor command. If you have questions or would like to suggest a topic, please add a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the IDG Tech Talk channel on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit the like and share buttons. For more Linux tips, be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and NetworkWorld.com.